G'day guys, I'm Z FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 21. Today we are learning the stepovers, a very overpowered skill move and let me just tell you now, it's actually a kind of a glitch and it does glitch past the opponent when you perform the stepovers. It's quite hard to tackle is what I'm trying to say. So without further ado, Let's get into the intro and then let's get into how to perform the stepovers in FIFA 21. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive. Ronaldo on the ball. He's made himself this just the control. tiniest the bit control of noise. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest of We talked about Aussie FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. Moving into how you perform the stepovers. All you will need is the right and lot stick. It's quite simple to perform as long as you can get the angles right. Essentially what you're doing is, if we're talking from a degree or a clock perspective, what you're doing is you're pointing up to where the player is facing. So in degrees that would be zero degrees. In As a clock it would be 12 degrees. You're pointing up with the right analog stick to where the player is facing and then dragging, rotating all the way around to either three o'clock or nine o'clock and that will determine which way the player will do the stepovers. And if we're talking degrees, obviously from three and nine, it would be 90 degrees and to 70 degrees. So essentially using the right analog stick to point up and then drag all the way around to the side of where the player is facing for him to perform the stepovers. And as you've seen on your screen, it is quite easy. As long as you can get those angles right, you can perform this quite easily. One other thing you can do with the stepovers is the exit out. So this will use the left and lot stick, obviously, to aim where you want to exit out. But essentially, as you're doing the stepovers, once you've performed them, as the player is doing the stepovers, you can use the left and lot stick to exit out. So if I want to do stepovers and then body faint to the right, I point. If I'm going from right to left, I point up. If I'm going, if I want to body foot body faint down the pitch and I'm going from right to left or left to right then I'm pointing down. It really depends what angle you are but you can use the left and lord stick to angle or exit out whichever way you like. Okay and as you see now you can also go from an acute angle and this is the actual uh, angle that I use a lot is the acute small 45 degree angle exit out which is what I have found is hard to tackle. It's very, very hard to tackle. And if you guys can get this down pat, if you can use this and get the angles right, I am sure you will benefit from this in your attacking gameplay. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you where you can use this in your attacking gameplay. So let's move to the next segment. Moving into where you should perform the stepovers. I have found the best place to use this is in fact in the midfield, out right, out wide in the on the wing, and also at the byline. I can actually use this to go down the byline to then cut it back. That's a section of the pitch where you can use this. Another area of the pitch is actually in the midfield and bypassing defenders. If there is a defender there that's around the vicinity of making a tackle, you can use this to almost curl around him and glitch through. Okay. It, you can use this to glitch through into the gap, okay, as you see now it's quite easy to get around the defender if you're using the stepovers. It's very hard to tackle, I have noticed. It's almost a glitch and there is, it hasn't been patched yet to my surprise, but essentially when you do this it is hard to tackle. Another area of the pitch, as I was saying, is around the box. You can use this to get into those angles to make a shot to bypass the defender and glitch through the gap. Just like I was saying in the midfield, you can use this around the bots area and it is very handy in getting into those positions to make a pass or indeed, most importantly, to make a shot. Moving into when you need to perform this skill move. Now this is actually quite important, this segment here, because essentially the best time to use this is when your opponent is around two to three player lengths away from you. So when he's just a little bit away from you, not in the vicinity of actually making the tackle, but not too far away from you, when he's just close to you, not close enough to make a tackle, but close enough, 
it's best to use this because essentially what you can do is, as I was saying in the previous segment, you can glitch through and get into the gap by exiting out and into the into the area of where the space is. So performing the step overs will allow you to obviously uh, almost deceive the opponent. And as I was saying, it's hard to tackle, but essentially using the step overs will allow you to and then the exit will allow you to get into the uh, into the actual gap and bypass the opponent. It's kind of hard to explain, but as you're seeing up in front of your screen now, some of the clips, you're able to utilize this skill move to actually get into the gap and bypass the defender. And it's mostly in those situations at the time when they are not close enough to make a tackle, but they're not that far away. This is when you should use the step over and exit, as they say. Um, in FIFA 21. It's very very handy as you've seen now you can score a lot of goals from it and it's very very overpowered It's almost like a glitch and why I say that is because I'll say it again It's hard to tackle it hasn't been patched yet and I have found it's very useful in my attacking game And that's gonna see until the end of the episode. Hope you guys Enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and most importantly follow me on Twitter link will be in the description down below I post on them when I do upload new episodes for you guys, so be sure to check them out and hit me a follow over there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, if you haven't yet, have a good day, guys. I'm out. Bye for now. Bye for now. Au revoir, sayonara, and goodbye.